All right, guys, we're here. Start Citizen round <laughs> video take two. Uh, first one was kind of shitty, so we're going to redo this, guys. So we're going to sort it through this, just absolutely smash it. 3.11 has gone to Eva Cardi. None of us here are end, uh, under NDA, so we can talk about it. Uh, this information has obviously come from Star Citizen leaks, and as much as I know they love me doing patch notes videos, Star Citizen Reddit, eat your heart out. So, uh, guys, 3.11 has gone to Eva Cuddy. Yes, there is a database wipe. Yes, there is long-term persistence. Everybody is giving $15 million for starting AUC. Current build is under NDA. Uh, this patch does not contain all the information and intended features. They will be added intuitively, blah, blah, blah. Testing focus, front end UI refactor, new cargo decks, new space station layouts, and the shotgun. Known issues, missile countermeasures are undergoing a small update that isn't complete yet. More details on these will be once it's been added. Uh, during uh, returning to customizer after accepting changes will cause the UI option to become unresponsive, forcing a client restart. After initializing Quantum Jump around New Babbage Microtech, the player can eject it from their ship, leaving them stranded in space. When initializing a call with another user, the initial call ends immediately while creating a DM group. Epilepsy warning. When hitting a asteroid with a laser, the user can be met with flashing VFX on the glowing asteroid. I kind of want to see that. I'm not going to lie. I want to see that. Uh, boxes spawn around derelict renders in and out when the player is in relative close distance. Uh, the uh, apparel center mass and whammers are empty in new Babbage. The player can die when moving to the center of the tram when it's in transit, so don't do that. Some ships and vehicles can be left in a broken state after spawning. Boxes fall through the floor upon arrival in the greater vicinity of outposts. Missions do not progress further once the player arrives at the mining claim. Uh, Teach Prosecco does not play her dialogue lines when during yes, the first sir. encounter yeah. missions. And ships can be delivered as unknown after destruction and can be available to spawn again, but will not appear at the specific landing zone. Yeah. New features. Uh, characters. Update the character customizer with new head designs. Please add bids. Locations. Added space station cargo decks. Cargo decks are facilities within rest stops while players can handle their cargo needs. From dropping off to picking up, buying new cargo equipment and taking on cargo related missions. Weapons and items. The Bering B2 shotgun. Originally designed for the military. Um, I'm going to cut this short because we're trying to fly through this. They found people were taking them home. So they decided to sell it. Uh, feature updates, uh, gameplay, front end refactor, updating the front end UI to use building blocks, woohoo, adding options to the friends list to be pinned to the side of the screen and the button to remove all notifications. We saw this on Inside Star Citizen, if you have not seen it last week, go check it out. Prison commissary vending machines updated, vending machines in the commissary and the prisons are now use merits to purchase items. Prison enforcements, updates to the escape route and added more complex gameplay steps from players accessing the escape route. Throwing version T1, which I'm guessing is version 1. Uh, improved grenade throwing to make it for, for more accurate and reliable, as well as expanding the throwing mechanic to accommodate other objects in the world. Update space station interior layouts. Space Station interior layouts have adjusted to help players find their way around. Maybe signs, maybe. Uh, you can use the interior elevators to access multiple levels of the station, including hangars, hubs, common areas, and the new cargo decks. Hostility updates. Acquiring a missile lock on a target will now consider you a hostile action against AI and other players, allowing them to shoot net back. So, no longer do they have to be fired upon, they can just now... You can be aggressive by simply getting a lock on someone. Uh, they've added options to default re uh, relative mouse mode in turrets. Uh, they've added the Grey Cat Rock to the purchasable list in the ship store in the PU, which was fast. Cortec, they've increased the max button limit for joysticks from 50 to 128. Rice button mouse, the equivalent for pit for black exit and fire flight sticks, now cancels, closes, quick select wheels. 
Major bug fix. Mining node should no longer change uh, com uh, composition if a player scans it, leaving the area and returns. Diamond icons no longer remain displayed after the surface deposits have been mined. Fix missing geometry inside the pirate, uh, pirate caterpillar near the up, upper catwalk, uh, catwalk doors that will allow players to fall through. So they fixed that, hopefully. Um, Space Station ASOP Terminal should now correctly show the landing pads on the ship as spawned on when locating in the location column. Carrick should no longer be missing the SDF on the nose of the ship. That's sign distance feeling. A uh, player should no longer be launched in, when entering, exiting EVA or end up in an unresponsive state when their client is running at very low FPS. Player should no longer tilt suddenly when exiting EVA into the ship if the ship was rotated. Player should now teleport into the space station instead of a hangar if the ship there is, is impounded. The elevator pillars in the underground facilities should now have collision. Grimpex clothing shopkeeper should now be in his correct position. Place ha uh, placeholder tech should no longer be present when accessing the anvil ship's components via the mobile glass. Players should no longer take damage or fall off a turret in the uh, constellation if they exit the lower turrets whilst attempting to move forward. There should no longer be a piece of geometry clipping through the floor, elevators, interiors at the arrival at the Hell L3. Right clicking on a player in your contact list near the bottom of the screen in Mobiglass will no longer cut off the drop down UI. Players should no longer uh, A pose when interacting with the standing engineering station in the Hammerhead Retaliator or Vanguard. New Babbage hangar labeled number 16 from the outside should now have the correct number. Fixed uh, gaps in the wall near the Grimpex elevators where players could see the game world. They fixed four client crashes, three server crashes, and that is the patch notes in a very fast order. Guys, very quickly, what are you looking forward to in this patch? What aren't you looking forward to? What's your thoughts? Keeping in mind, it is an interactive patch, meaning there will be more stuff added at a later date. Not all at once. Guys? Oh, you're talking to us? Yeah. Right, yeah. The, rock, the rock being on sale, the buying game, awesome. Yep. I like the cargo hangers. I like that too. That's sounding pretty cool. And the new interiors for the space station. That is definitely oh, yeah. sounding interesting. Uh, what about you first? What are you looking forward to? Uh, uh, generally, the whole patch it, it, itself. Yep. Because... From what I hear, um, it's also supposed to bring a update to uh, planet of textures and repainting. Okay. And, and Which... also, also keep in mind mm -hmm. too, like I say, we are expecting um, mm -hmm. not server meshing, but we're expecting item cache sooner or later. Right. Maybe even this like three point eleven branch. Um, there is no mention of the of the Star Runner, which you know, sad face, give Star Runner. Um, but there's also no mention of the Hundred Eye either. So maybe they'll come at a later date. Um, like it does say, it does literally say that there's still more stuff to be added. So yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, apart from that, and yep. And remember, folks. With each a major, <clears throat> with each major, a patch we get one step closer to the address. Oh boy, how many is address? <laughs> um, all right, but yeah, guys. Apart from that, look. Obviously, it's a somewhat. It's a. It's an A patch. Right, we're not obviously expecting a lot. Um, this is just obviously the bare bones. This is just like you know, like hey. Um, there's still more stuff to be added, so I'm not too disappointed with it. It's a good first patch, and obviously they want to slowly add things over time because if there's any major problems, then obviously they can you know fault find it. So there's no big deal with that. Um, like I say, no Star Runner, no Hundred Eye series at the moment. I'm expecting the Hundred Eye at a later date, probably over the next few patches. Um, and as for the uh, as for the um, the um, 
Star Runner. Um, I'm not expecting that until I, I enter its patch. So maybe a 3.11i um, or something like that. Um, but guys, let me know what your thoughts are in that comment section below. Obviously, guys, if this video has been helpful, please smack that like button. If you're new to the channel, welcome and subscribe. I will put a link to all these guys' channel in, obviously, in the comment section below. Um, so you go join uh, Zangard, who was in the first video. I'll put his details as well. Um, but Fez and, and obviously Don. Um, so feel free to go and check them out on Twitch, YouTube, and the usual suspects. Um, apart from that, guys, obviously we'll keep you up to date on anything with the Star Citizen. Um, and obviously Dual Universe 2. We do have another video coming out tomorrow where we are actually doing a bit of talking about what we would like for a final product, release date, blah, blah, blah. Um, it's in response to Chris saying that Star Citizen won't be taking another 10 years to come out. Um, so we'll put that video up tomorrow. Apart from that, guys, uh, have a great night. Enjoy yourselves. Thanks, everybody, for watching. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Have a great night, everybody.